Yeoman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at the 10th Annual Female Eye Film Festival in Toronto with Madison Cocker, filmmaker behind Lady Bare Knuckles. Did you have a good time making this film? I definitely had an awesome time making Lady Bare Knuckles. Uh, it was my thesis project for Ryerson University in my fourth year. Um, it was very stressful because it was kind of my first film project ever. Um, but the end product, it was awesome and it was a lot of fun to make. Did you get a good grade on it? Oh, I think I did, yeah. <laughs> It's a period piece um, and you shot in Toronto, so how did you get your locations and where were you shooting? Um, we shot at the Campbell House, which was an amazing, amazing location and they were very uh, willing to work with us and they were very good. Um, and we also shot at Black Creek Pioneer Village, um, which was also really awesome. So did you just call them up and ask for permission or did you go in? How did that work? Um, we ended up doing a bit of both, a little bit of email tag as well as phone tag, um, but uh, we ended up going in to meet with them and see what we could do, what we couldn't do, what we could move or what we could bring in and all of that stuff. But Where did you get the inspiration for the, the film, uh, a, a lady fighting? <laughs> um, I, I think it was... It was just something that sort of came to me after a long summer of watching a lot of violent movies like Fight Club and Bronson. They're two of my big favorites. But at the same time, I was reading a lot of Jane Austen and all these really flowery Regency novels. But um, I guess I just sort of thought the two going together would be a really interesting contrast. And, uh, and it's actually bits and pieces of the film are based off of real history. They've been modified a little bit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> And what was it like seeing your film screen last night here at the Female Eye Film Festival in front of a fairly large audience? It was really awesome. I, I was actually, I wasn't sure if a lot of people were going to show up, but then we sold out the theater, I believe, so it was very, very exciting for me, and it was really cool to see it with a non-school audience, because the only other time I've screened it was at the student festival. So it was a very new experience and I was very nervous but it ended up going really well and people seemed to really enjoy it. And what are you hoping hoping to work on in the future? Um, I sort of, I would love to continue directing. I am sort of writing a few other things right now. I am writing another period piece, which I'm like, oh God, why do I do this to myself? Because the Lady Bare Knuckles was self-funded. Um, but yeah, I just want to keep directing, writing. I also do producing. I'm sort of a jack of all trades, I suppose, but yeah. And where can we find out more on the film and on yourself online? Um, I am on Facebook and LinkedIn and all of that. I don't have a site yet, but for Lady Bare Knuckles, I have a Facebook fan page, and I also just have ladybareknuckles.com. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Madison, thank and best you. of luck with the film and your upcoming projects. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at the Female Eye Film Festival in Toronto. Check it out at www.femaleeyefilmfestival.com.